Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel and another Amazon monthly haul. I did one last month and I got a lot, a lot of really good feedback about it and I had a really good time putting it together for you. So I thought I would do it again for the month of March. So this is all stuff, little clips and bits and pieces here and there as things come in from Amazon that I order throughout the month. I'll show you guys the stuff that I think is, I think is interesting. And I won't show you the stuff that I think is like super boring. Like if it's like, I don't know, headlights or you know just something really random but a lot of lifestyle things home products beauty products skincare things like that maybe some homeschooling things here and there um, just a little smattering of everything so so far in the month of march um i think it's the fifth right now maybe the sixth this is the stuff that i picked up i had gotten my oldest daughter some lumino whitening strips for easter and i personally have never tried them i actually have whitening gel that my dentist gave me but I never use it because the trays are super annoying and it makes my teeth hurt so I'd heard a lot about these and how it's more natural than traditional whitening solutions and products but it's actually supposed to be really effective so so far I've used it twice I think I can tell a difference um a little bit I just don't know like going forward how much difference it's going to make um, but it was on a good special. It was on a, I think it was about the same price that I paid for my oldest daughter's and I got hers on like a Black Friday special. So for the price, I thought I would go ahead and try it for myself. So I got that. I did see that Marshall's has their toothpaste. So if it's something that I end up liking, I may go ahead and add the toothpaste to my dental care routine, but we'll see. My only complaint about these so far is they are really hard to get to stick to your teeth. I've used Quest, Crest white strips in the past and they stick really well. These things slide around like crazy until you get them like in position and then you have to kind of keep your mouth closed. You definitely could not, at least my experience, you definitely could not talk with these in at all. So you have to make sure that, you know, I have 30 minutes where I'm not going to have to talk to anybody. So that's the only thing I've noticed about them so far. I don't like, they taste pretty good, which is nice. Um, I also picked up some replacement heads for my flawless face. I don't know what else to call it. It's a woman's facial razor. I mean, and I love it and use it pretty much every other day uh, consistently because I'm just kind of a hairy person. So these little refill heads for them are really expensive. And I had bought some before that I thought were the right ones. Turns out I bought the Generation 1 refill heads, which are different than the Generation 2. Um, so you need to pay attention. If you have a Gen 2, it will have like an outer ring and an inner ring, which is the one I have. The Generation 1 just has the outer ring. So you have to be really careful. There's also a, dip, a difference in the depth of these. Um, so I ordered the wrong ones and it was too late to send them back. So I went ahead and got these. They are expensive, but I prefer this to shaving my face with just like a straight razor. So I got some more of those and that'll last me for a while. I also got some Jurgens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. Now this is basically a self tanner that you use daily as a lotion. And it's supposed to give you a very gradual tan. I don't like stuff like this. I hate kind of being a slave to tans because you're always like, oh, I missed a spot or my ankle's orange or if I get in the pool, is it going to come off? You know, stuff like that. But we do have a trip planned in May and I'm thinking I may go ahead and do this. I've gone for years um, where I've self-tanned beforehand. I've gone sometimes where I've spray tanned. Um, and then I've gone other years where I don't do anything, which I... <sighs> I'm just really, 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 really pale. And I don't like the way my legs look in shorts when I don't have any color at all. Uh, but this is a more subtle, a more subtle color than an actual self tanner would be. So I feel like this is a somewhat of a nice compromise. What I do wish that they had never gotten rid of was the BB body. It was even a step below this. Like it was technically, I guess it was technically a self tanner, but it was like the most light, just a little subtle bit of color, which I prefer because somebody who's as white as me, when you try to get even remotely dark and to dark to me is like still pale to other people. It's just a lot harder to make it look natural and blend in. It's a lot harder to cover mistakes because if you do mess up and you're really light underneath, you're going to have big gaping areas where you're super white and then areas where you're not. So people that have a little bit of a natural color to their skin probably don't have that much trouble. But when you're really white and you're covering up this, which is speckled right now because I'm cold. Um, any little mistake that you're going to make is going to show up. Very long-winded way to say I got some of this. I may use it before our trip. Um, I have used it before on accident and it, I did like it okay, but not as well as the BB body. But of course, they discontinued that. So this is pretty much my only other alternative. 
And then I picked up some more of these um, Sonic toothbrush head replacements. My husband and I both have Sonic toothbrushes. And instead of buying the, the name brand, which is um, Sonic Hair, I think it is. I just get these off-brand ones on Amazon. I've been doing that for years now. There's a couple different brands that I go back and forth between. I don't notice a difference in either one as far as quality, longevity, or effectiveness. Um, so I will just get whichever one happens to be cheapest at the time. So I got a six-pack of these, and it's definitely the way to go. Even if you don't have a Sonicare brand toothbrush, if you have a Sonic toothbrush at all or an electric toothbrush, definitely look into a knockoff replacement heads on Amazon because usually there's one for every toothbrush and it's going to save you a lot of money to get the off brand than it is to have to pay, you know, the full price for the name brand. So that is my little haul so far um, for the month of March. I will check back in the next time I have anything interesting to so show you. It's guys. been a few days and I have a couple more things to show you guys that I have picked up from Amazon. The first thing is this first aid kit. This is not anywhere near what I want to have. And I've got a few extra things like smaller kits, but I'm working on doing some extra prepping with vitamins and basic medicines and then first aid supplies. So band-aids and different things like that. So I felt like this is a good place to start with at least a big kit. One reason I like this one is uh, it does have the first aid and burn cream packets, also a couple packets of antibiotic ointment, and then lots of different sizes of band-aids. I am looking into other types of things to get, but I liked this one, and it was a good price, so I picked that up. I also got this Boggle game. I've never played Boggle, but it seems like a game that I like to play with my youngest, where you just like pick a word and then see how many words you can make from that word. Evidently this, you just kind of like shake the letters up and then whatever random letters pop up, you have to see who can make the most words from those letters. Seems like that's how you play it. But it was really small and cute. It was inexpensive and I thought it'd be something fun to play at home and maybe also to bring on vacation. So I got that. Also, I showed you in my February Amazon haul that I had gotten my oldest daughter some more socks and I had gotten myself some more socks. So my youngest also needed some. So I picked up this pack for her. It was on sale. And my oldest daughter, this is her favorite like sport athletic socks. So I figured my youngest would like them too. So for her, I got the bright colors. My eldest had wanted the one that were like gray, black, and white. But for my youngest, I got these. And then for me, I got this Dr. Scholl's Cracked Heel Balm, which is gross. And they're not that bad. Don't let the name scare you away. <laughs> my heels are not that bad. But they have been in socks all winter. And I have not, you know, like most of us, have not done as much with them as I should. So I'm trying to get them spring and summer ready. So I thought I would try this and it actually feels really good. It's like really cooling. And so I think this would be really nice if you have dry feet, but also even if just your feet get tired and you want to, you know, rub something on that's relaxing and moisturizing, this seems to be a good thing for that. So I picked that up. This is not interesting, except I just thought they were pretty. I needed another contact case. I think you're supposed to change them every month or so when you actually change your contacts. And I'm very bad about doing that. And so um, I went ahead and just got this pack from Amazon. It's 24. And me and my, my oldest both wear contacts. So it's something that we're both going to be sharing. But we will not be running out of contact cases anytime soon. I just thought the colors were pretty. So I want to show you that. I also got this Pilates ring. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. Um, I really honestly was looking for more of a thigh master kind of a thing. If you guys remember that from like the 80s and 90s. Um, which they do sell on Amazon. But they get really bad reviews but the next thing that seemed really similar is a pilates ring so this is basically a a ring that does have tension in it so um you can use it and i don't know i'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is going to be different than just using like ankle weights or resistance bands i'm not really sure so i think i'm going to give this a whirl for a little bit and then decide if i want to keep it but i did get that and then also for the girls um we are supposed to be going on vacation and it is going to be quite a long drive. And I, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, I used to do a, a video before every trip to Disney of what I put in the girls like car bags of things to entertain them on the way. Um, as they've gotten older, I have done that less and less. They usually like to bring a lot of their own stuff, but I do still like to bring little things that are fun, entertaining, and that will keep them busy on the, the drive. And we don't bring electronics. We do have a DVD player in the car that's like built into the seats. So sometimes, you know, usually I'll say let's get like halfway there before we even talk about turning on a movie. But for the most part, I think when we went to South Carolina in the fall, 
they did and that's like a 10 hour drive for us they didn't watch any movies so they usually like to draw and bring things like that but i did want to have something for them to, to do that was different and especially for my oldest because over the years she has become kind of an anxious traveler and so it's a good thing for her to keep her hands and her mind busy and, and occupied. So she's going to be bringing her own things that she wants to bring for that purpose. But I thought this would be really fun. I actually, it came, I got two of them. So you can get it in a single pack, a two pack, or I think a four pack. These things are not cheap and they get kind of mixed reviews. Like they have really good reviews. People love them. From what I've been able to see, the, the problem with them is people say they don't last that long because they are basically just like a, a glossy paper and there's magnets in here in the corners and it shape shifts i don't want to just mess all over it and like mess it up but basically this breaks apart and you can make 70 different shapes with this box with the magnetic pieces that are on the inside so i thought it was worth the risk to see you know if they're careful with it maybe it'll last you know a lot longer than people are saying that they do last but okay so it has been about a week and i've got quite a few things to show you a lot of stuff for the graduation party that we're going to have for our oldest daughter in May, kind of mid, late May. Um, so I got, I think, I think I've got everything pretty much now, except for obviously the food because it's March. But we, every graduation season, she would see people that had like yard letters that say like, you know, grad or congratulations or whatever. So I made a note. Um, last year when she was talking about that, that she would probably like that for herself. So I got this down on Amazon. I'm not going to get them all out, but I will link everything so you'll know exactly what I got. It's a whole set. I think this set has the year and it's got a couple of these like cutouts and stuff. So the year I can't reuse and I may not be able to reuse any of them to be honest for my youngest, but they are really nice material. They're like a plastic kind of almost on the outside and they're fairly thick so I got a whole ton of those that came with a bunch of different letters and things so I got that also for the party um I was looking at ones that actually said graduation but she happened to see these and thought they were pretty and I think they're nice and they do actually match a lot of the things that are for graduation so two different sizes of plates that have gold and white and silver stars and it came with the cutlery that you need and also this black napkin so i thought that was a really nice set that came with all that stuff and then the place that we're having the party we're not allowed to like they don't take reservations but we can go ahead of time and hold tables and so i wanted to have kind of a non-verbal way to sort of have whoever's holding the tables hold the tables so i got these little things which are similar to the yard things they're they're thick cardboard things that say like congratulations dream big um you know stuff like that and they kind of have the sparkly gold stars and stuff just like the plates and stuff do which i thought were neat even though they're not from the same company so i'm assuming we're gonna need about four tables so there's one of these for each table and then i have these little tea lights that are gold and sparkly to kind of go along with the star theme i only turned on one of them because i did not want to take that little tab out all out of all of them leading up to the party. And then I thought it'd be cute to have one of these on each table and then a couple of these little tea lights. So I got those from Amazon as well. Also for her party, I got this, which is actually a box. I'm not gonna set it up right now, but it, it uh, unfolds like this and then it closes up on the top and then you have people write things to the graduate. Now it came with this set of cards, but I didn't like the prompts that came with it. I know that seems ridiculous, but I don't know. These were just kind of random. So I don't, I didn't like those. I wanted just blank cards that people that come to the party can write her whatever they want. They don't have to use a prompt. So I got these cards separate. Again, I thought it was really neat that they have the stars, which ties into the apparent star, or like gold star theme that we're doing. So that's for her party. And then I also got this as a somewhat discreet way to bring, I mean, it's not discreet, but to bring in the cake you're allowed you're allowed to bring in a cake um and like some little bottles of water so i got this thing which i can't get it i can't do it one-handed but it's big and rectangular and it pops open it's obviously insulated and that'll be a good way for us to bring the cake in also i thought this would be nice to stay in the trunk for when we go to costco the costco we go to is pretty far from our house and i always worry especially in the summer that the meat and stuff is going to get hot on the way home so i thought this might work out as a thing to keep in the trunk as well all all throughout the year to get food from i guess the regular grocery store but we live really close to our grocery store but specifically costco when it's far away from our house so i got that for the trunk 
And then I got a couple different books. Um, I actually ordered these two books for my youngest for the uh, kind of beginning study of economics, which I think is really, really important to, to teach and understand. So I got two of these thinking I was just going to look at them when they came and return the one I didn't want. I decided to keep this one. And then when I did the return on that one, they said just to keep it. So now I have both. Um, but this is really what I wanted because it's a mixture of information and worksheets. There are little activities in there. It's showing you like when you get paid about taxes and of course economics in general, how they work, gross domestic product. Um, there's also historical connections explaining like why we have certain economic procedures now, like why, where they came from in history. Um, so a lot of different information in here, opportunity cost and factors of production. And this one, now they told me to keep it. I, there are some things in here I can use, but it's mostly, um, worksheets and activities. So, um, I can definitely tie this one in to this one and also combine it with this book, which we already have. So I didn't get this this month, but money matters for teens workbook. We started this last year and then it got to the point where it was a little over her head. Um, my youngest. So it's definitely something that we're going to keep revisiting, but I think it'll be nice maybe to combine with, with this. Um, but these two are the ones that I picked up this month. And then these, I could not wait to come. I was trying to find different things that I can do with both girls and then we can do as a family over the summer but especially my, my youngest because I, like I said in other videos my oldest is going to going to be getting her first job this summer and it's going to leave me and my youngest home alone together which is fine but I just thought it'd be fun to have more things to do that I can be more intentional with spending extra time with her because I know she's going to miss her sister like crazy um, they do a lot together. So if my oldest is gone, then I want to make sure that I'm accessible and spending extra time with my youngest. So two different books I picked up this one. I, I don't want to just hand her a book because you know, you can get books these days. They say they're for kids and then sometimes they're not appropriate. So I wanted something I could read to her. This book series got a very, very good review. Lots of good reviews, um, on Amazon and it's definitely something she could read on her own, but I thought it would be something that I could read to her at night, um, I just got the first book for now to see if she likes it. She really likes mysteries and stuff like that. So I think that'll be right down her alley. And then this one I thought was beautiful. It is kind of a retelling of, I think the story is called Pilgrim's Progress. It's like a famous book. Um, but it's written by Helen Taylor. And um, basically they made it appropriate for children. And what I love about this version in particular, first of all, it's hardback. It's a beautiful book. But the artwork in here is just unbelievable. I can't get over how beautiful the artwork is in this book. So I think there was a paperback version that was like a lot less expensive, but I went ahead and got the hardback because I wanted to have, um, the pretty pictures and stuff like that. So, um, I just think pictures make all the difference. Look at these. These are like things that you could frame. They are the prettiest pictures I think I've ever seen in any book, but especially a kid's book. But so it is a Christian based book. Um, so, and she really likes Narnia where like there's all the different metaphors and comparisons with, you know, the Christian life and the story of Jesus and all that. Um, so I think she'll really appreciate this and I could not say no to this artwork. So excited to have that to read to her and excited to have it in our collection. This is the kind of book that you get and you have like for years to come that you pass down to your grandkids. So I'm really excited about that. So that is everything I have. The only other thing I don't have to show you because I forgot to bring it up here is um, I got the Three Days to Kill DVD, which is a funny departure from what I was just talking about. It's a Kevin Costner movie. It's a really good movie. And um, if for some reason it's hard to find, like I didn't want to rent it and just keep paying to rent it. So I went ahead and bought it. It came with the Blu-ray version and the digital or yeah, it came with digital copy, which was no longer valid. It expired in 2017, but it also came with the regular disc and a Blu-ray disc. And so I bought it and then I gave my parents one disc. And so now we have one disc. So, um, to have that in our collection because it is a really good movie and, um, we wanted to watch it and I figured it was better to go ahead and just buy it then rent it every couple months or every, you know, once or twice a year. So that's everything that I have for now. I okay, do biggest purchase on Amazon this month is this hammock art. Obviously it's already set up and I'm glad I bought it when I did because I just checked yesterday and it's gone up like $35, but I did get this. Obviously it's gross back here right now, but 
I wanted the girls to have a place to come out here and hang out besides the patio. And when we went to Myrtle Beach in October, they both loved the hammocks. So we were in it yesterday, hanging out, and um, everybody really seemed to like it. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get like a sunshade. I don't know. I'm going to wait till the leaves all come out, and then I'll decide if we need some kind of sun cover or not. But this one got overall really good reviews. It's got like a 400 and something pound weight limit, so more than one person can be on it. And it even has this little pillow right here that you, I think you can take it off. I think it's got, yeah, these little buttons. So you can take that off and wash it. So I don't know how well it's going to hold up. It seems fairly sturdy, um, but it hasn't rained on it yet or anything. But I did get that this month on Amazon, and I think the girls are going to get a lot of use out of, it, out of it this spring and summer. Okay, and then this is the last of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing for March. We watched this movie series, my husband and I, last summer, and it was one of those things that we didn't love it while we were watching it, but then at the end, after you watch all three, you're like, oh, okay, so that was pretty good. So we went ahead and bought it because it was... Um, about the same price to own it on disc as it was to have the digital just like download and I personally prefer discs better so this is blu-ray and it's all three in the Maze Runner series so I got that and then also this is going to be a little change to my oldest daughter's Easter basket if you saw that video it went up a little a little while ago um, I showed you what we we're giving each girl for their Easter baskets and this is a last minute addition so I'm going to actually take out something that was in the basket something smaller and then put this in there because if you watched her birthday video we got her for her birthday we got her an outdoor greenhouse and she said she wanted a stepping stone and so I thought that would make the perfect Easter even though obviously it won't fit in a basket but it's the perfect like Easter springtime gift because it's the right weather and she wanted it to go with her greenhouse and I got this one in particular because a lot of the ones that I saw didn't actually come with concrete it was like plaster of paris or something like that and i wanted one that was actually concrete so from what i can tell this one is actually concrete and it will make a 12 inch stepping stone and it comes with like the little mosaic pieces and everything like that so i thought she would like that to be able to customize it and have it say whatever she wants and then being that it is concrete it will hold up out a lot better outside in the weather and the elements than plaster of paris would so i got that and it was really affordable so that and then this is something that I got to do as a family it's kind of a one and done type of thing I mean it's kind of like clue almost because you have a series of different clues and evidence and people profiles and stuff like that and then you have to figure out who did whatever it is that they did so I thought it'd be really fun to do this we've done an escape room before a couple different times and the girls really like that and then my youngest especially really loves clue which i loved that growing up too and so i thought this is kind of a nice way to kind of combine those two things working together as a team sort of like an escape room but then you're doing sort of the clue type thing where you're figuring out you know who did whatever and this is a um, nancy drew themed mystery at magnolia gardens and it was around 25 or 28 dollars something like that which isn't like cheap for a one-time thing because, you know, you're not going to want to do it more than once because after you figure out who did it, then it, there's no point. But I figure it's kind of like an experience. So if you were going to go to an escape room, you would pay more than $25 or you were going to go out and do something as a family, you would pay more than $25. So I look at I look at it that way. That is something new that I added to do that I think will be really fun and I thought I would share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up on Amazon in the month of March. I will link everything for you in the description box. Make sure if you like this video and you want to see more going forward that you give it a thumbs up. Also, I did do this video in February. So what I bought on Amazon in the month of February. So I will link that for you in the description box. I've had a really great time. I feel like I find quite a few good, like really good things on Amazon. And yes, I shop on there too much, but it's really convenient and, um, you know, saves me a lot of time as a stay at home, homeschooling, work at home mom to be able to just order what I want and not have to really go out and get it. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and let me know in the comments that you would like to see it. You know, leave me a thumbs up or a smiley face or something in the comments so that I know you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.